Hello. Okay, so in this Camtasia 8 tutorial vid, I'm going to be talking about cursory effects, visual properties, and voice narration. All pretty simple once you get the hang of it. Visual, actually, voice narration and cursor effects is actually very straightforward. Visual effects, not so much, but we will cover that first cursor effects. Okay, so I guess this is a kind of bad video to show you, but let's just. Um, okay, um, we can't. Okay, so cursor effects. Cursor effects. Is only for camera recording. Camera recordings, if you don't know, is uh, when you download Camtasia Studio, it gives you a recorder, a Camtasia recorder. Any video that you record with Camtasia recorder will be a camera file or an AVI file if you change it in the option settings. So, first of all, I'm going to have to. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to get rid of this. No, sorry. And I'm gonna have to import a. Uh, let's let's. Rec I'm gonna add a tutorial vid I just did today, which is which is this is the first tutorial vid I did. Okay. Now I want this to be HD, so 720. Okay, cursor effects. Cursor effects. Okay, so. If you record um, with Camtasia Recorder and there's a mouse in the background, hello, like uh, for example, it's right there. Here's what you can do. First, cursor size. You can actually make it larger if you want. I don't know why. Highlight effect, magnify. Highlight effects is whenever the cursor goes over something, it'll just like sort of change. Spotlight, you see right there. Highlight, none. Yeah. And you add an animation to it. Okay, so watch. And this is the tutorial. Watch, watch what happens. Hello. And this is the tutorial. Nothing really happens, right? But if we make a highlight effect, watch this. Hello. And this is the tutorial for Camtasia Studio 8. Camtasia Studio 8, and then none. It pretty much works sort of like uh, callouts and stuff, um, but let's get to left click effect. Whenever you, whenever in the video that you have left click, you'll do like some weird animation, or when you right click, sound effects. If you hack like left, it's it's pretty much based, like unless the click is actually recorded in the video, you can just manually add them if you want. To, I don't know why but let's say um, in the video I don't want the mouse curse to be visible just there's a button right there it'll turn off it'll get rid of the mouse um, that's really good if you're recording and the mouse is in the video you don't really have to care because now you can just get rid of it now for the second thing visual properties okay visual properties is actually very difficult well, not too difficult, but I haven't actually messed around too much with um, visual properties, but here's the basics. You press Add Animation. Okay. And now you want to... Then you want to... Okay. Now, I'm going to keep doing this until it's basically... Back to... Back to sort of like it's original state there reg original state 360 um for z and you see that it's rotating like that what that means is the animation will rotate 360 degrees right now position you can actually change where the video is through this you can even send it back forward front this will rotate it upwards this will rotate it to the side and occupancy I can see it sort of like fades and fading and scale, make it bigger, smaller. Now let's watch the animation. Camtasia Studio 8 is very similar to Camtasia 7, so. Okay, now if you have. The thing is, you want to add multiple. 
because I put 360 and then minus 20, it will all do it'll do all these things at like the exact same time. So it might not look good. If you want to do it all separately, you have to put separate animations. Like you have to constantly add animations to it right after the first one, and that's that's basically visual properties. Drop shadow. Um, it's a shadow. Not not really much. Not, you, there's really not blur. I don't know why you want to add blur. Colorize, change the color, border, if you want to border it, let's say this, and then thickness is that, and then, yeah, that's basically just adds to the effects if you want for visuals. This is, um, I kind of actually like visual property. I haven't used it much. I think I'm going to later, but that's, that's, uh, that, that's another thing, voice narration. Now, voice narration is awesome in Camtasia 8. Okay, here's why. In Camtasia 7, you can't record and watch the video at the same time. That really sucked. That meant you had to remember everything in the video, or you had to make the voice narration then make the video, which kind of sucks. So, uh, for example, let's just do something now. Hello. And this is the tutorial for Camtasia Studio. Okay, so yeah, see, I'm Camtasia talking, Studio 8 I'm gonna be is very similar to, to Camtasia, Camtasia 7. Camtasia 7. So weird if you know how to use Camtasia 7, okay. you don't really need to. But uh, whoops, and that's that's basically how it works. But if I really want to show you, I can mute speakers while you're recording. If you, let's say there's system audio is going on, you can just mute. Okay, audio wizard setup. Um. Basically, where you want it to come from, recording source, microphone, audio format. What the heck kind of format do you want it to be? I don't, I don't, it's your choice, man. This, this is really all your choice if you really want to. And start recording. I don't know, I don't think I really need to show you because it's pretty much start recording. Then the video will play at the same time. And then I'm going to stop recording. And then you save it somewhere, and then you just add it to the, and then, yeah, pretty, pretty straightforward. Okay. That covers cursor effects, voice narration, and visual properties. In the next video, I'm going to be finally covering record camera, captions, quizzing, and then finally produce and share. Bye, everybody.